Mike Hamilton, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome to part two of our special Butterscotch.com five-part series on ASUS Partition Manager. Now in this segment I'm going to talk to you briefly about partitioning or repartitioning a hard drive. Now when you get a brand new hard drive, say 300 gigabytes, it doesn't have a partition. It is one huge partition that occupies all 300 gigabytes. If you wish, you can break it down into logical drives. The main part of the drive is called the primary drive. It's also the active drive, and the active drive is where the operating system resides and has to boot from. But when you want to break your large hard drive into smaller partitions, those become logical drives. It's still only one physical hard drive, but it can be divided into logical segments. So I'm going to take this little tiny 8.65 megabyte section on my hard drive that doesn't have anything on it and I'll click here on create partition or you could click up here partition create you see that it's asked for a name so I'm going to put in test it's a logical drive not primary we're going to use the NTFS file system it'll be drive D we we'll use the default cluster system we'll click OK now, with nearly all partition management programs, the change won't really occur until I reboot the computer. You see over here, one operation is pending, create disk D on disk 1. And there's only one hard drive on this computer. So this is how you would repartition or partition a drive. Basically, repartition simply means to partition it over. So you can see here is our little drive D down at the end of a very large drive C. So that's how you partition or repartition a drive. And that concludes part two.